Lulu. Hey, Lulu, how's it going? Good morning to you, matey. I know the magic word. Magic word, magic word. What's the magic word? Lulu is a very, very clever and beautiful bird. <laughs> clever and beautiful. How true, how true. Clever and beautiful. <laughs> Easy, Lulu. You're hurting my ears. Yeah. Oh, what's your word? Barber. Bleach, 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 bleach. Okay. My bird. Lulu. <laughs> Leech. So that means leech is the um, word. Okay. Now let's just uh, okay. Right, up, left, right, and these are both down. Okay. All right. Now let's go all the way down these stairs. Do -do 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 -do. Barber, and the answer is leech. Picture and uh, basically what you're supposed to do is uh, figure out the magic word. You can ask Lulu, but let's try picture book. Hey, baby bonnet. Fortunately, after that first one, all the words are related. Our glass. G. Oh, hey. Like sands through the hourglass, so are the days of our lives. Do, 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 do. Ant Hill? Farm Hill. I'll go with Hill. Oh, yay! Oh, I'm doing well. Yes! The door is unlocked! And now we're... It's unlocked, right? Is it unlocked? Yay! Way! So now we're in more of this area. Huh. What's this? It looks like the rest of this grid is on the other side of the wall. Yeah, this is a puzzle of puzzleness, and uh, basically it's a two part puzzle. This is our first part. Apparently, I think we'll make the triangles all point up. I think is the idea. Let's try. There we go. Okay. Okay, and that's all we can do for now. Now let's. Now what you're supposed to do is go all the way back, and let's tell. Let's tell Linda about the secret passageway because we didn't see any curse. Did you see a curse? I didn't see any curse in the secret passageway. So let's go ask Linda about that. You scared me. Such a fright. Oh. <laughs> what were you doing in there? Um. I found a secret passageway. I found a secret passage off of the east hall. Mm -hmm. So I suspected. These old homes usually have a secret passageway or two, but I must insist that you no longer play in these areas. They can be extremely dangerous. Play. But I'm curious about where they lead. Well, we wouldn't want you to end up like the proverbial cat, would we, Nancy? Please, I my suppose woman. not. It would be terrible if something happened to you. Wow, that's really kind of creepy there, Ethel. What you're teaching Jane looks pretty rigorous. Yeah. Well, interesting. I believe young people need to have a well-rounded education and learn what every other Pendulin should know. Hmm. Have you seen the book in Jane's room called the Mutist Lieber? Yes, the silent book. It's quite fascinating and very old. Jane's grandfather left it with me to give to her. Interesting. Do you know where it came from? No, I don't. But he regarded it as an heirloom and insisted that it belonged to Jane, and to Jane only. Very interesting. Do you know much about the Pendleton family history? Only that they were a very well-respected and talented family. Many of my ancestors were tutors of some of the Pendolins, and I feel very honored to continue that tradition. Have you ever heard the legend about the Beast of Blackmoor? Of course, everyone who grows up in these parts knows it, but it's just a myth, one that unfortunately proved to be quite damaging to the Pendolins. Damaging to the Pendolins, yeah. Damaging to the Pendolins? Well, yes. Eleanor Pendolin was executed because the villagers believed that she had created the Beast, 
Things cannot get much more damaging than that. I suppose. Well, I won't keep you any longer. Goodbye, Nancy. Well, that's Ethel being very mysterious. Hmm. Oh well, let's go talk. I thought I heard something. Sorry about that. Let's talk to Linda. Linda, I found the secret passageway. Jane told me where it is. Yeah. But I didn't see any curse in there. I looked How around and saw it? nothing. It was right there, just waiting to be found. Wanting to be found. I can't believe how foolish I was. That stupid gargoyle. I hated how its evil eyes would stare at me whenever I walked to my room. So I moved it around, changed its position, kept fiddling with it. But when that secret door suddenly opened, I couldn't resist gargoyle? going in there. Which gargoyle is this? What do you mean, which gargoyle? I thought you said you found the secret passageway. Yeah, what is So it? there's more than one. Linda, I think someone's trying to scare you off. I think they thought you were getting too close to something that's hidden in this house. You're right. I did get too close to something. That witch, that witch that was burned at the stake. She's cursed me, and she's probably cursed you too. Oh, Linda, calm down. Don't I'll be a drama soon. queen. Please. Please what? Linda, I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Oh, okay. See you soon, Linda. Now, I think the gargoyle she was talking about is this. I'll bet that's the gargoyle Linda was talking about. There's got to be an easier way to figure this out. Something tells me I'd better not mess with this until I know it. There's got to be an easier way to figure this out. So basically, you're supposed to spin it until it opens the hidden passageway. But you don't know how you're supposed to spin it. So, how do you find out about uh, the gargoyle? You go downstairs. Where I believe the gargoyle is on one of the uh, coats of arms. I believe so. This guy. See? He's got a little gargoyle. Uh, Aldakas Fortuna Uwat. Oh boy. That's uh, Fortune Favors the Bull. That's from Virgil. Uh, not Virgil. Virgil! Virgil. He's, he's a Latin author. Ars Longa. Long Art. Okay. So let's ask let's ask this dude here. Uh, we haven't met him before, but he's Nigel. Hi, Nigel. Are you here from the agency? It's about time. Yes, yeah, so it's, it's about time. I'm sorry, being here, Nigel. Yes. No, I'm Nancy Drew, a friend of Linda's. Yeah. How do you do? I'm Nigel Mukherjee. Hello. I'm researching the Penvalent family, and Mrs. Drake has graciously opened the library for me. Nothing <laughs> much has been written about the Penvalents until now. Yes, interesting. Sounds intriguing. It might have something to do with their scandalous history. Or perhaps it has something to do with the family treasure. Ooh. Is that what you're going to write about? I'm quite curious about their progenitor, Randolph the Red. He was a brilliant soldier in the 15th century. As a reward for his exemplary military service, he was given the land that surrounds this castle as well as the castle itself. Some say the source of his military strength was a strange stone. Of hmm. course, that's all legend, but it makes you wonder, doesn't it? Very interesting, yes. Are there any other interesting people in the Penvalent family? There are several skeletons rattling about in the Penvalent closet. Take, for example... Eleanor. Eleanor Penvalent, mm -hmm. tried and convicted of witchcraft in 1650, quite the height of the witch trials here in Essex. It was rumored that Cromwell arranged the conviction. Cromwell? Cromwell? Oliver Cromwell? Ironsides? Never heard of him. I suppose they don't teach history any longer in the U.S. Oh! Lady oh, was oh, a rather no! a critic of Cromwell's policies and helped oh. many of his enemies flee the country. Ouch. Whether she actually was a practitioner of witchcraft is unknown. Although, many visitors to the manor during her tenure reported hearing strange, ghostly bells. Some even saw phantom hands floating about the manor, tolling their charmed chimes. Interesting. Have you seen any runes anywhere in the manor? You mean like Norse runes? No, I haven't. I don't really know much about them anyway. Dead languages aren't really my bag, you know? I suppose they no longer teach dead languages over in the UK! Hmph! <laughs> Hmph! 